Today at ShopDap.com, I'm going to explain the Volkswagen VAQ E-Diff for Mark 7 GTIs. Okay, so before we go into explain the E-Diff, let's just talk real briefly about what a differential is or why it exists. Differentials take uh, your transmission output that takes your engine power goes through your transmission your transmission then has output and then it splits it into both wheels now on some vehicles it would be a rear wheel drive obviously the rear wheels front wheel drive cars it's going to split to the front wheels now why is a differential important differentials not only do they split the power between the two wheels but they also give the ability for the wheels to actually have different speeds and, and the reason why this is important is because as you turn a vehicle let's say you were turning to the left, uh, the right wheel being on the outside of the turn would have a further distance to travel. If you lock them together, then you would have two wheels going different speeds. So a lot of times what you would hear is maybe uh, like big trucks driving down the road that have locked differentials, uh, like pickup trucks and stuff like that. You would hear kind of the, uh, the wheels kind of chirp as they're turning because they're locked together and one has to travel at a different speed than the other. Uh, people who weld their you know, diffs together uh, have this happen. And that's why you would need a differential. And so on most cars, you would have an open differential. Now, open differentials have a lot of fine function for everyday driving, but for performance and then also for traction, they are not going to be the best setup that you're looking for. Uh, and then you have, on the alternative, you have limited slip differentials, uh, and these are more, much more expensive than a, an open differential, and they generally have some downsides because they are mechanically locked together in, in variable ways. Uh, again, they're not locked, but they, they lock in different ways, and some people don't like that setup, uh, maybe has some sacrifice of comfort. So VW actually uses this E-diff, uh, the LSD, uh, or E-LSD is what they call it, and it's actually made by Borg Warner, uh, and Borg Warner actually calls it FXD, uh, and that's what you're going to see in a lot of our slides. We're going to show Borg Warner's information referring to FXD. That is the VAQ diff for VW. So, with that said, let's get into what a VAQ diff is. Vehicles with VAQ in the differential look very similar to what you'd find in a standard GTI with an open differential. The main difference you're going to see is on the passenger side of the transmission there is the vaq module or fxd module is what borg warner calls it what that's going to consist of is a drive shaft that connects to the differential a hydraulic pump that actually pumps fluid into the clutch pack to lock it and unlock it obviously the clutch pack as well and then the control module for that unit now let's take a look how that unit actually functions if we take a look here when the vehicle deems necessary for the differential to engage, the hydraulic pump activates, sending fluid up to the clutch pack, locking the differential. Now the operation of this diff is not an on-off. It's going to vary depending on the demand of the vehicle, and that's what the control module does, is determines when it's necessary to do so. It can do this actually pretty quickly, or with around two tenths to three tenths of a second. You can go from fully disengaged to fully engaged to disengaged again, which is going to vary depending on fluid temperature as seen in the charts above. But this is a simple operation and can be disengaged very quickly as needed. Now let's take a look at the control module and the functions it performs. The control module talks to the vehicle through the CAN bus system and uses all the vehicle calculations to determine what it's supposed to do. So the control module functions are slip stability control, preemptive start lock torque, wheel slip control, yaw dampening, and ABS ESP control. So the most important ones I think to talk about are going to be the preemptive startup lock, wheel slip control, and then yaw dampening. The preemptive startup lock is actually going to be for launching a vehicle. This is actually has the ability to engage the clutch before you're actually even seeing slip. It's going to see a, a zero speed and then an engine RPM that's maybe higher up. And, and I'm certain that if you have launch control on the vehicle for a DSG car, it's going to lock up under those circumstances as well. So that's going to give you your starting, uh, your starting that's going to get this thing locked up immediately off the line. Wheel slip control I think is important because a lot of Mark 7 GTIs that are tuned are going to have a lot more power than factory. And if you bang second either on a manual or a DSG car, there's a good chance you're either going to chirp or spin into second, in which case you want to make sure that E-diff locks up 
which will get you, get you moving uh, and accelerating as fast as possible. Now, yaw control is also another great one. It's going to improve handling. A bunch of these things are combinations of why this uh, EDIF actually did so well on the Nürburgring. But let's give you an example as to why yaw control actually improves handling on the vehicle. If we take a look here at the example shown by Borg Warner, as you come into a turn that's sweeping left, the weight's gonna shift to the right side of the vehicle. This will actually result in an understeer circumstance coming through that corner. And for anybody who's not familiar, understeer will essentially be you're turning the, the wheel to the left and it doesn't turn as far to the left as you need to and it continues to kind of push forwards instead. Now what the EDIF does to, to counteract that is it engages more torque to the outer wheel to actually create a, a more oversteer circumstance which will pull you through that corner a lot better. All these reasons are why the E-diff actually did better on the Nürburgring, but here's an example to show you specifics on that. It's a great chart. It shows you improved exit speeds on different corners of the Nürburgring, and the total increase time was about eight and a half seconds, which is pretty significant uh, from that vehicle. Now, what does VAQ stand for? Now, VAQ is actually an abbreviation made for a German word, which you can see here. I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce that because I would embarrass myself. And I'm gonna let Google pronounce it for you. Vorderachsquersperre. And as you can see, the translation is front axle crossbar to English. Now, for those familiar with how Haldex works and who have potentially had Haldex vehicles in the past, you're likely wondering what the service interval or if there is one on this vehicle. VW actually does have a service interval in their, in their manuals, which is every three years for Haldex systems, as well as these VAQ diffs. If you are in need of Haldex fluid for your performance pack diff, I will make sure that we link the correct stuff in the description below for Mark 7 performance pack differentials. Thank you so much for watching this how e-diffs work for Mark 7 GTIs. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe.